A New Mexico police officer recently made national news for being a real-life robocop. Corrales police officer Jerry Romero is learning to walk again after injuring his spine in a crash. It happened on Corrales Road while Romero was chasing a suspect in a stolen vehicle. But Target 7 has learned that suspect is now walking, too, away from the justice system after the case against her was tossed. Target 7 investigative reporter Nancy Laughlin went to prosecutors to find out why. Shelly, prosecutors and police say they are really frustrated by this one. They say there's a lot of evidence in the case against Casey Williams, the suspect they believe was involved in this crash. Prosecutors say they even found her cell phone in a stolen car, but that was not enough to move forward. If police officers are heroic, Jeremy Romero is a superhero, a real life Robocop. Learning how to walk again with robotic legs after a horrific crash one year ago. It happened January 2014 when the Corrales police officer was chasing a stolen car. Both cars crashed. The suspect or suspects took off, but Romero couldn't. His spine was seriously injured. Now the charges dropped against the suspect. Bummer. Yeah, I, that's a good way to describe it. It's, uh, like I said, disappointing, but the focus really needs to be on Officer Romero's recovery. After the crash, police arrested Casey Williams. Investigators thought they had a pretty solid case against her. The investigators were able to recover some DNA and fingerprint evidence from the vehicle, as well as some store receipts from recent transactions to place the individuals in the vehicle. Prosecutors say they found Williams' cell phone, too. They say the evidence put Williams in the stolen car, but not behind the wheel. It's kind of a, a sad situation because we're you know, we have a grievous injured uh, victim in our case, and there's really not much we can do about it. Prosecutors say because they couldn't prove Williams was the driver, they couldn't move forward. If this actually went to trial, uh, it would probably be thrown out before uh, the, the jury actually heard it. The chief says Officer Romero is aware the charges were dismissed. When there are a lot of emotions involved, as is obviously the case here, and we have a vested interest, we still have to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt. Prosecutors tell us there is a five-year statute of limitations on this, so if they do get more evidence, they could reopen the case. Now, according to the New Mexico Court's website, this is by no means the first time Casey Williams has been charged with a crime where those charges were later dismissed. Prosecutors saying a really weird twist in all this, though, is last year she was also a witness in a murder trial where she testified on behalf of the state. Back to you. Right now, Officer Romero is making frequent trips to Texas where he's learning to walk with his high tech robotic legs. If you want to see